What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I am going to discuss with you the trial closes that you can use in your sales pitch to get your potential social media marketing clients to pay you more. No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. So as I already mentioned in the introduction, today we're going to be discussing trial closes. So let me just quickly change the name of this document, trial closes. And basically what the trial close is, is the transition from basically, you know, you just gathering info and intel and data on the potential client to, you know, your close. So in between those two uh, parts of, you know, your discovery call or your sales call, you have trial closes, which basically near the client more and pre-frames the client for the close that's about to come okay so quick uh, breakdown of you know how I would do this discovery call by the way that guys for those that want my whole discovery call etc it's all um, in my coaching program so if you're interested in that I will link everything in the description box down below but uh, with that said um, in a uh, nutshell basically what we do at the start is you know we ask the client or the potential client as many questions as possible because we want to basically know as much as possible about the potential client before we actually start working with them, okay? So the structure, like the basic structure is obviously um, introduction, which is, you know, usually it's quite an informal introduction. Um, so let me just add here, um, sales pitch breakdown. There we go. So we've got the introduction which is uh, usually, you know, starts quite informal, you know, um, I, I have no idea, you know, if it's if it's on Skype, you can say, you know, can you hear me correctly? Um, you know, how has your day been so far? What time is it for you now, depending on what time is under in? You know, a, a little informal few minutes before you actually get started. And then what you basically do, um, you basically, you know, take control of the conversation right away, okay? So a few little moments of informal chit chat, and then you say, okay, listen, um, you know, thank you for getting on this call with me. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to hop on this call. Here, this is how it's going to go, okay? I'm just going to ask you a few questions about your business and your marketing um, your strategies and plans. And, um, you know, if I think that um, we are a right fit or if I can help you out, I'll, you know, explain what I do. And then, you know, if we both think it's interesting, we can move forward from there. Does that sound fair enough? Okay, so immediately you take control of the conversation. You explain that um, you just want to know some, you know, um, you're basically going to ask a few questions. You just want to know some things about his business. And if you think that you can help them, so you will only pitch them if you think that you can help them, okay? It's very important that you mention that just to put the clients at ease because, um, you know, the client, you need the client to figure out or to understand that you will not, actually take them on as a client if you are not confident in yourself that you can get the job done. And when you do transition into the you know the trial closes and the actual close, the client will know, okay, well this guy obviously has confident confidence that he can help me with you know this uh, job or this project. Okay. So after that, once you've said that, you know, 100 percent if you say, does that sound fair enough? You know, he's just gonna say, okay, yeah, that's fine, fire away. Um, you will sometimes get those people that um, are like the alphas and they will try and take control of the conversation and then listen you guys it is up to you to ensure that you have control over it and if he starts firing questions at you just say listen um you know i've got another course scheduled in 50 minutes um actually you know can we just please go back to um you know what i just mentioned um i'll ask you a few questions and then you know like i said um if i think i can help you i'll explain more about what we do okay so make sure that you constantly keep control of this conversation then you ask him a few questions you know about his marketing efforts about you know what he's doing with his social media uh, what his business is like where he is at now where he'd like to be like how much revenue he's creating now how much revenue he wants in the future and create those two situations those two scenarios okay one is the current scenario and the second is obviously the dream scenario where he wants to go to okay so you've got that you know you've got a where he is now and b where he wants to go that is very important that you have that because you basically want to make him realize that you are the vehicle that's going to get him to point B, okay? So from there, once you basically, you know, you've asked the questions and obviously, you know, you do need to be confident that you can actually get the job done for him. Um, you know that he's got the budget, uh, which really you should know prior to the call, um, but you know that he's got the money, he's got the budget, he's willing to invest, he's got the resources. And um, like I said, you can actually get... Um, 
get everything done for him then you transition into the trial close okay so let me just write that down now so introduction and then um what should we call it sales pitch breakdown so we've got the introduction which is step one um then we've got the um, take control part which is step two and then we've got step three is where we basically um what should we call it interrogation interrogation phase have i misspelled interrogation interrogation yeah okay interrogation phase and then we have the trial closes and then we have the close okay so in terms of the trial close um there are three ways or three things that i like to say um you know when you're actually transitioning into the trial close okay so um Basically, in the interrogation phase, when you are mentioning or asking him questions about uh, his business, etc., um, I always like to mention the competitors. Okay, you know, mention um, basically what I do prior to the call is actually see what the competitors are doing, and actually in the loom when I'm doing outreach, I also show them what the competitors are doing. So um, what I like to say during the trial close is, can you see why businesses? like and then x which is a competitor will you know would spend um let's say 10k a month on social media market or let's say ppc traffic okay why because you know that also means google that means facebook again you know it doesn't really matter what it is it's just so that person the potential client knows or you know thinks about um why other businesses why the competitors are spending that much money or are spending money on it okay so we basically get them to visualize other competitors you know doing something that they're not which makes them feel left out they'll get that fear of missing out and you know it'll basically just pos position them in a good or put them in a good place so you can then close them okay so first we get them to visualize um and you know understand that other businesses um are spending that much money okay so can you see why businesses like x will be spending so much on and then again if your services facebook ads you say well can you see why businesses um like competitor would spend you know so much money on facebook ads if you are offering google ads you do the same with google ads okay so that is basically you know the, the start of the trial close so from interrogation phase you mention the competitors and then you go into uh, the first trial close which is can you see why uh, these businesses would spend so much on um, that traffic source that you are offering okay and then the second one is um basically what some what i've used for like, webinars and seminars etc it was actually russell brunson that um you know showed this this method to me um, which i have found really effective for both b2c as in b2b is basically um if this would it be worth it okay so if this and then uh, solution so results of solution if this result of solution would it be worth it okay and there's another digital marketer called rob quinn that also mentioned this um in his uh, facebook group again i can't remember the name of the facebook group but i stumbled across it um a couple of weeks back and he also used this for his clothes uh, which is sort of like reiterated to me how important this was and basically what you do is um you give them a result that validates your retainer so for example um uh, let's say it's a what should we do guys let's say um we do a car dealership we say okay well if this um you know if if this campaign or if the ads that we're running um you know increases your bottom line by 10 percent, you know would it be worth it for you of course you know it's a rhetorical question and that is exactly what we're trying to go for okay so you say uh, like i said you know if this um campaign allows you to t to sell 10 cars again you know if this if the average is five say okay well if this you know if this campaign allows you to sell twice as many cars um in a, in a month's time you know would it be worth it to you and then again because it's a rhetorical question they'll say yes okay so you've already got the first yes when you say oh can you see why business has spent so much um you know and then they say yeah well i can i understand why people would do this and then the second one is obviously if this would allow you to spend so for example let, let's actually tailor this completely to car dealerships so the first one is can you see why businesses would spend like ten thousand a month on facebook ads you know to sell their cars or can you see why businesses um would you know put their 
I don't know, the cars on uh, Auto Trader or something like that to, you know, to promote the cars online. And they go, yeah, I can, I can see that. Well, then, you know, if this, um, if Facebook ads, or again, you know, if lead generation would allow you to actually increase your bottom line without spending so much money on Auto Trader, would it be worth it? Again, you've got that second yes because it's a rhetorical question. Okay. And then lastly, um, another thing, what I think you should do. So you've got the, the first yes with the trial close. You've got the second yes with the trial close. And then the last one is basically where you justify um, your retainer. Okay. And this one is um, it's not necessarily a tough one, but this is where you really need to come across as confident. And, um, you know, this is literally going to be the, the first um, it's, it's like it's the last question of the trial close and it's almost the first question of the close okay this is where you basically end the business with this um, last uh, point basically of the trial close so what you say is um, let me actually add it here so we go what would you need to see um, let's see what would you need to now what would you need to get as a result uh, what would you need to get as a result in order for you to spend and then retain it with me okay so you're validating your retainer and you're making them think of what is needed in order for them to get their money back okay so let's say um the profit margin on a car is i don't know a thousand dollars then you say okay so what would you need to see as a result in order for you to get uh, for you to spend that retainer with me and let's say my retainer is a thousand as well um okay now let's say let's say a um, profit margin on a car is five hundred dollars then they'll they'll say okay so you'll need to sp you'll need to um at least you know sell two cars in order for me to at least get my money back from your retainer alone okay and then you know okay i need this is how much i need to um sell for them to actually you know basically make it worth their while and then obviously you need to take into consideration the ad budget as well so let's say um the ad budget is a thousand your retainer is a thousand the profit margin per car is 500 so you need to sell them at least four cars to break even and everything above that point is pure profit but you need to make the potential clients realize that as well so the question is what would you need to get as a result in order for you to spend that retainer with me a thousand then they'll need to basically have sold at least five cars for it to be worth the while because then they have profited 500 a month from your facebook ads okay and then um, obviously you know you can't say this as like free standalone questions you need to sort that you know um make a conversation out of it so you can just say listen you know i'm curious um how what would you need to do or what result would you need to see from me in order for this to be worth your while so you can just say you know i'm curious uh, what would you need to uh, get or see as a result from me um in order for this to be worth your while or to justify this uh, relationship or justify this partnership and then you can always mention um you know and this uh, i'm the reason why i'm asking this is because i want to know if this is realistic for the both of us okay and by saying that again you're reiterating to the clients that you will not take on this job if you are not confident that you can get results okay so you've already said that when you take when you've took control in part two where you say okay listen um you know if i think i can uh, if i think this is the right fit and i can provide value then i'll explain what i do so that's point one and then here in the trial close you do it again you say okay you know this just um to make sure that this result that you are expecting is realistic for the both of us and that will make the potential client think okay you know this this guy isn't even going to take me on if he is not 100% confident in the fact that he can get me the results, okay? And then, you know, he will give you an answer and then basically you've got your three yeses of the trial close and then you can transition into the close, okay? So I hope you got some out of this. I hope you found this valuable. Let me know in the comments down below if you use any other form of trial close or if you have an additional trial close that you like to add. Again, like I said, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to know more about this sales pitch or the complete structure or if you actually want me to help you, you know, with your own agency and actually personally push you to that six-figure mark, let, you know, help me get you that first client, um, I do have a coaching program. Again, it is linked in the description box down below. If you're on the fence about it or if you're unsure if you uh, want to make that investment into yourself, you can also just schedule a free discovery call. Again, no strings attached. Uh, where you can basically you know, see where you are now and create a plan for you so you can uh, get on your way and you know, see if it's the right fit. And if not, then you know, no harm done. Uh, like this video if you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.